Hi, and welcome back to Sarah's Music. The theatre and opera director, Peter Sellers, is our artist in residence this season at the Berlin Philharmonic. And he's basically one of the most inspiring people I've ever met. And I'm very, very honoured and happy that Peter has joined me today to talk about staging classical music in the Philharmonie. Peter, welcome. Excuse me, inspirational. That would be Sarah Willis. <laughs> Hello, right there. All admiration to oh you. Oh my goodness, I can hardly so. continue. <laughs> A Peter Sellers production is always a unique and inspiring event. For his production of Debussy's opera Pelias and Melisande in the Berlin Philharmonie, he used not only the stage but the entire concert hall. Today's about you and about your, this is your space. Right now, this is... Well, it's is, about us, because it's, it's your space, too. That's what I love. We're actually sharing it. And you actually said that your job is basically just a service job. You're there to help, <laughs> which I giggled at, <laughs> because you're here to stage. This, this year, you're doing uh, quite a few really amazingly crazy and wonderful things. Pelias is the first time that you've, you've staged an opera here in the Philharmonie, right? Well, you know... What's so great about Pelias, it's not exactly an opera. In the opera house, whenever you announce it, ticket sales are low. The opera public says, mm, because it doesn't quite work as a kind of 19th century opera. It's truly something else. It's actually much closer to the Bach passions that we did here. It's very inward, very private, very personal, and deals with kind of unbearable levels of Deep suffering, shame, sense of we should have done better, sense of a society that's lost its way. This music is going to encourage us to just sit down and be quiet for a moment and get a little more honest about difficult topics. It, the piece itself is quite overwhelming. During rehearsals here, we see Peter popping up in all different places here in the hall. When <laughs> I remember seeing you sort of pop up there, and then you were up there. You know the acoustic from every every side of this house. Well, this hall is an instrument, and I get to play the way you play the French horn. You know the way Daniel plays the violin. I get to play the hall. <laughs> That's my instrument. <laughs> Why is this space so so special? What what makes you want to create pieces? Create you can see this space is an incredible landscape. You know, Mr. Sharon made something that is, you know, like sections of the Alps. These incredible asymmetrical shapes which surprise you constantly and where half of the public is literally sitting at different angles. So you're not even sitting level to hear a concert, but as you would be in nature, right? You're at 
this angle or that angle, and there are these precipitous drops and this drama of the hall, this kind of thrilling, lunging shapes and diagonals create this kind of amazing uh, sense of spatial uh, 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 shock and tension and, and vertiginous thrill. Peter's production of the St. Matthew Passion in the Philharmonie in 2010 was a huge success. So Simon Rattle, the chief conductor of the Berlin Philharmonic, said afterwards it has been the most important work he and the orchestra had ever done. Of a, of a of a staged production in a in a in a concert hall, they're they're the stage, the the scenery, they're the lighting, they're the makeup, they're your they're everything. Everything seem, comes from them. At least it was like that in the Bach Passion. I mean, that's an old 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 theatrical tradition. I mean, that's like Chinese opera, or Japanese theater, or or in India, it's the performer tells you everything, where they are, whether it's night or day, whether, you know, in, in Chinese opera, they stage the eyes. There are different types of eyes, so you can know that one set of eyes is like the distance, <laughs> the future. Another set of eyes is looking right here at your hand, and another set of eyes is just thinking about yourself. And those eyes tell the audience what the space is, what is on your mind, all of those things, because of course, every one of us as human beings carries a whole world with us. And wherever we go, we bring our world with us. And so it's really magical to see the worlds that each of these human beings bring with them onto the concert platform. This production also raises awareness for the current refugee crisis in Europe. The sheep on their way to be slaughtered in the original opera are here refugees, and the shepherd is a border control policeman. Well, uh, a lot of my life is um, uh, traveling a lot in different places in the world and supporting other artists' work. And there are so many powerful things going on in the world right now. If you make yourself part of working with refugees, then, of course, everything in Peleos makes sense. And when I come to a rehearsal of Peleos, first of all, I'm grateful to have a warm and beautiful hall in which to work every day. I'm very grateful if you're coming from a ref refugee center and where architecture is gracious and thoughtful and inspires you to be the most brilliant human being you can be. You, you have like some of the best singers in the world in your Peleas cast and I was watching you rehearse the with them. <laughs> they, they really are. I spoke to them also. I said, how is it working with Peter Sellers? And what all of them have said is that you bring perspectives in there that they hadn't thought of before. And you don't bring that by telling them, but you suggest they said at the perfect moment. You, you re-speak the text in your own language. Do you do that on purpose? Do you not tell them what to do or do you suggest? Well, when you have the best people in the world, who would be stupid enough to tell them what to do all the time? I mean, they're like brilliant. What, why, why tell them what to do? Just watch, pay attention, invite them to do what they do. Peter, thank you so much. I need 20 episodes of my program to be able to <laughs> show everything that you have to say. Yeah. That, that's all from Sarah's Music for today. Um, I'm overwhelmed. Thank you for talking to me. One thing I have to tell everyone, though, Peter is not, for me, one of the most inspirational people I know. He gives the best hugs in the world. That Peter, <laughs> thank you for joining me. <laughs> oh, my God.
vont par ici. Voulez-vous me donner la main? Allez, allez, je vais vous Je vous soutiendrai par le bras. Le chemin est escarpé. We have something called a horn challenge. If you would like to, we would be so honored if you just give it a go. What am I going to say? <laughs> <laughs> wow, that is very moving. <laughs> that is soul stirring. <laughs> I'm going to start crying now. <laughs>